So we're going to start our practice today by taking our, our attention outside of ourselves, all the way out, even further than our bodies, further than our homes, further than our city boundaries, and take yourself all the way out to space where you can see the entire earth. Okay, so once you find your body more still, just allowing this visual We're going to visualize Earth from the standpoint and notice that it seems like there are different bodies of land and different bodies of water. But paying attention, maybe looking around and kind of floating around the Earth, you notice how everything is actually part of each other. Maybe you see it as the way the waters connect, or the ways that climate affects each other throughout, or the way that the wind blows. Now let yourself feel connection with the whole planet. Let yourself feel harmony with the entire planet and all of life on this planet. Doesn't have to make sense. Just let yourself feel connected in some way. And now with that feeling, we're going to start to bring our attention all the way in towards the heart center. So in one swooping inhalation, bring that attention right into the heart center. Hold it here for two seconds and then exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> now we'll start to shift right into Ujjayi Pranayama. So taking a breath in through the nose, open the mouth, fogging out. <sighs> mouth stays open, fogging in. Closing the mouth, exhaling through the nostrils. And allowing that breath to enter and exit in a very organized way, one that you're in charge of. Now there are, there are 12 of us in this room today practicing with each other. And we're going to, or about 11 of us, we're going to feel harmony with each other, connect with each other. We are practicing together. And today being the third day of the year, we're practicing as a way to start this new year. So in the next couple deep breaths, use the breath to connect with each other. We are all breathing the same breath.
And now we're going to chant our mantra today as we now connect to a deeper self, which we all are a part of, the true self, the higher spirit. We'll give you the translation, then we'll chant together. Really feeling this in your heart. I bow to the presence of the divine within, our true and highest teacher that lives in and around us as being, consciousness, and bliss. It is ever present and radiates peace, lighting the way to transformation. Deep breath in. Nama Shivaya Gurave Satchidananda Murtaye Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Niralambaya Tejase Om Shanti 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 Let's shift now and come all the way down to the back. And once you're on the back, find the arms long behind and the feet pointing forward. Give some motion to the wrists, to the ankles. And then on the next exhale, bring the knees in towards the chest, bring the hands around the knees. So we're going to rock a little bit side to side and let the head move with the body. So it might move in the same direction or it might move in the opposite direction. But give yourself a chance to experience both so that you can sense how these aspects of the body affect each other in their various motions. We're going to find, once you've explored enough there, we're going to find a happy baby. So we'll take a hold of the feet with the hands and begin to also let some motion occur. And noticing any tight spaces in the body. One of the reasons we most likely come back to our practice is because the change in the physical body is noticeable. It's clear we begin feeling very tight and tense and we finish feeling more open and free. And that's our physical body that we're experiencing, but then we also experience this mentally and emotionally, and that sometimes takes a little bit more time to really understand and experience in longer lasting intervals, so that eventually we can hold that openness and that, that peace uh, for more time with more stability. So we're going to take a few more deep breaths as you continue to explore this. Okay, and then from here, release the feet, bring the knees into the chest again. Take the hands to the knees. This time, lift the head and just give the whole body a hug. This body has been through 
a lot this past year. So really allow a sense of love to come through and travel all through this body, sent from your mind and heart. And as we're here for one more breath, thanking this body for supporting us, we'll lower the head down. Bring the arms to a T and lower the knees over to the right, coming into a twist. Turn the head to the left and then to the right and back and forth a few times. So just letting the knees get heavier and heavier as you move the head side to side. And then we'll let the head shift away from the knees. Resting in this twisting spine for two more breaths. And then we'll bring the knees back to center. Set the feet down and just adjust the hips so they are more in a neutral position. Then we'll bring the knees back in and let them float over to the left. And again, moving the head side to side. And then eventually shifting the head away from the knees, taking a couple deep breaths here, relaxing into the twist, resting in the twisting spine. And we'll bring the knees back to center. <clears throat> set the feet down so you can find the hips in a more neutral place again and then we'll bring the knees up and come back into a happy baby and just in first entering the posture notice if it feels different from when you first entered it before you can see that there's some change maybe you'd like a little bit more change so find a deeper expression perhaps so different ways we can be here we can hold <clears throat> the inner edges of the feet with the hands and maybe even get to the top of the foot or the, the sole of the foot. You can hold the outer edges. You can hold the big toes with the peace fingers. You can separate the knees wide. You can straighten the legs. You want to be able to permit yourself to explore freely and openly. Five more deep breaths. Maybe you draw out a clearing breath, releasing what is not wanted. So that is in, in every way possible, in the physical sense and in the emotional and mental sense. Breathing out through the mouth, maybe another clearing breath. And now we're going to release, so we're going to bring the knees back into the chest, hands around the knees. Give the legs a big squeeze as you lift the head. Soften the eyes. From heart, mind, sending love into and through the body. Complete gratitude for this body and the way it supports you. 
even if it doesn't seem perfect. And then we'll release. And now send the feet towards the corners of the mat. We're going to completely release as if we were going into Shavasana, but we're not going there quite yet mentally. So let the feet go, let the arms go. And then in about three deep breaths, let this body get heavier and heavier. And a little bit heavier. And I'm going to share the words of Derek Neville. And this is for the first part of our New Year's practice. So let this soak up in your mind. There is no dream that is too great for any human being. No aspiration too high. No ideal too wonderful. What we are capable of conceiving in our souls is also capable of being manifested in the outward world. More than that, what we truly conceive within our souls and work for cannot help appearing in our lives. Now, if you take this last section, more than that, what we truly conceive within our souls and work for cannot help appearing in our lives. This can go both ways. This can go so that what we are conceiving of and what we desire cannot help but appear in our lives, but what we conceive of and do not desire and yet still conceive of it will also appear in our lives. So in that way, I'd like to take a moment for you to think about the year of 2020 and realize what maybe you were conceiving of in your mind that was appearing in your life and was maybe making things more difficult, maybe making challenges even more challenging. In other words, some thoughts, behaviors, that were unhelpful or even harmful for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to allow ourselves to let this go so that it doesn't trickle over into this year. So maybe you could figure out very something specific. Maybe it was a little bit vague. Either way, identifying something, we're going to now use the body and the breath to help us understand that it is going to be washed out so that we can move forward um, with a fresh mind, leaving and releasing that old thought and pattern behind. So now we'll start to get the body more active. Bring the feet closer together. Bring the arms alongside the body. And we'll have the palms, we'll say we'll keep the palms down for now. So what we'll do is we'll inhale the right leg and the left arm. So we feel that lift. We feel the required energy to lift the arm and leg. And then on the exhale, let them go in a very soft and just, uh, you know, soft release. Inhaling, lifting the left leg, the right arm, so alternate limbs. And then on that soft release, we exhale. So now we'll pick up the pace and let the breath help us wash this out. <clears throat> so inhaling, right leg, left arm, exhaling, lowering. Inhaling, left leg, right arm, exhale, lower. Keep going. Now you're going to drop the breath in the throat so that activity in the throat will release. And you're going to just be breathing forcefully in and out through the nose. So let's continue. Now 
Now, if it's too fast, then you'll slow it down and you'll take it at your pace. But as you're doing this, imagine that you're taking big strides away from those thoughts, away from those behaviors that were not helping you, they were not benefiting you, and they may maybe even harming you. Inhaling, exhaling, walking away, releasing, energizing, releasing. This will bring the heart rate up. You might even break out into a little gentle sweat. So let's just keep going, keep moving through. Again, slowing down if it's a little too much, but still walking away. Just about 15 more seconds. Feeling more and more free, more and more open. And then we'll go ahead and release the limbs, then take them all upwards towards the sky. Even if you have to bend the knees, if you have tightness in the legs. And finding deep breath here, coming back to Ujjayi breath. Feeling now the lightness of the limbs, even though you're holding them up. And now feeling lighter in the soul, in the heart and the mind that you've released what hasn't served you for this past year. And now f coming back into freshness, newness, let's find happy baby once again. Grasp the big toes or find the feet and begin to explore for about five or six deep breaths. <clears throat> Connecting to the joy of the baby. The newness of that joy. One more deep breath. Soaking that in. And now we're going to change positions. So let's go ahead and bring the feet in towards each other, actually, before we rise. Bring the feet towards each other. And now we're holding the feet in as close to the uh, pelvis as we can. So really drawing the feet in. And now send the knees away. And we're going to take as if we were in seated, you know, there's that butterfly motion. We're going to do it while we're on the back. So we're just fluttering the knees out and then back in. And we'll go ahead and release the feet, bring the knees into the chest. We're going to take a big transition over to a table posture. So if you'd like, you can rise up and take a whole vinyasa, or you can roll to the side and get there slowly. <clears throat> and then Whichever transition you've taken after that, we'll meet in our table posture, hands and knees, and we'll start to flow through cat-cow. 
So inhaling, belly sinking, head lifting, tailbone lifting. Exhaling, belly engaging. Head and tailbone drop. Continue like this. Okay, let's thread the needle before we go further. So find a neutral spine. And then we'll inhale, lift the right arm upwards. Now, just check in with the comfort of the knees. So notice how this feels. Let's release the hand back down. And we're gonna make sure our knees are comfortable if you need to bring blankets underneath. Um, but if not, separate the knees a little bit. So we, we want the trunk to be able to lower today without struggle. So separating the knees. Inhale, lift the right arm again. Maybe you can feel a little bit more openness. And then exhale, thread the right arm through. Come all the way down to the right shoulder, right side of the face. Let the weight of the body lower into the mat. And then we're going to straighten the right arm. Take those fingers and take them away from the shoulder, right shoulder. And now pull the right shoulder in. Pulling the shoulder, so it's like pulling the shoulder back. And the left hand might stay where it is. You might lift it up and wrap it around the back. And now we'll bring the left hand down. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, send the hand down. On the next inhalation, lift the left arm up, but we're not gonna go in quite yet because we're gonna just do what we did before. So we'll take the hand down, just give the body a moment to digest. And then again, take that left arm back up. The knee's still separated. Exhale, thread the left arm through. Come down to the left shoulder, left side of the face. Let the weight of the body draw down. And now straighten the left arm. Straighten the fingers, kind of reaching them forward away from the shoulder and then pull the shoulder back. It takes a little bit more effort to be here, but then uh, we benefit more from this physically. So maybe that right arm might wrap around the right, the uh, low back. And then one more breath. We'll set the right hand down. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, set the hand down. Let's find downward facing dog. If you'd rather keep the body low, you can find a heart chakra posture, sending the hands forward, forehead down to the mat. Otherwise, hands down, fingers spread wide, roll over the toes, lift the knees, and maybe find some movement, uh, movement some motion here. Maybe a clearing breath or so. (sighs) 
So if you aren't in downward facing dog, find your way there. And then from here, we'll be stepping the right foot forward. But before you do, you might want to take the right leg upward. And if you want to add a little challenge, exhale, draw the knee forward and bring the head down towards the knee and the knee up towards the head. And then inhale, lift the right leg back upwards. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Pivot the left heel down. We're lunging into the right knee. We'll be rising to warrior A. So come up with the trunk. And then begin to roll the shoulders a little bit. Settle into the feet. Make sure this back leg is straight and strong. And then on the next inhale, reach the arms upwards. On the exhalation, bring the palms together, bring the thumbs in front of the chest. So we're gonna keep doing this as we're in our warrior A. So inhaling, reaching the arms up. Exhaling, hands in. Inhaling. Exhaling. About two more times. Once you have the thumbs in front of the chest, we'll keep them there for a moment. And then we're going to shift into warrior B. So we'll turn to face the left side of the mat, left toes now facing side of the mat, the hips, the shoulders, even the face. We still have the hands together. Keep them there. Now look forward, right off of the right shoulder, past the front of the mat, somewhere off into the distance. So if you're going far into the distance, we're not going to look at any one thing in front of us. We're going to let the eyes glaze over. Let everything in front of you blur. I'm not finding any one spot, but so looking off into the distance, now we'll open the arms wide. Sending the shoulders back and down. Gazing somewhere past the right fingertips. And maybe you're able to close the eyes and maintain your balance. Let's flip the palms upwards, feel the lightness of the arms. Level the arms as best as you can. Feel the strength of the body. And now connect to the strength of the heart. And now connect to the strength of the mind. And now connect to the strength of the soul. Even though the physical body is being tested, as you connect to that strength, you can maintain this position. Now we'll be here for another two breaths. And now let's windmill the arms down around the right foot. Lift the right leg up and behind, coming back up into downward facing dog with the right leg lifted. And then we'll exhale and set this right foot down. Let's take two deep breaths.
On the next inhalation from downward facing dog, you might lift that left leg upwards. If you're here and you want to go further, you can exhale knee to nose, feeling strength in the belly. Inhaling left leg back up. And then exhaling left foot forward. Pivot the right heel down. We find that strong lunge and then we'll start to lift the trunk, rising back up into warrior A. So in being here again, you might roll the shoulders again. It's feeling yourself loosen up through the joints. And then when you're ready, we'll be inhaling, making sure that the legs are solid and strong, inhaling, lifting the arms, Exhaling, completing the circle, palms together, drawing the hands in towards the chest. Continuing about, we'll say seven more times. So after about the seventh round, we'll have the thumbs in towards the chest. So our hands are in prayer position. And then we'll turn to face the right side of the mat, keeping the left toes forward, but the right toes now pivot to face the side as do the hips and the heart, the frame of the shoulders. Now turn the head to the left, sinking into the left knee, looking far off into the distance, coming into that focusless gaze that can see far beyond our physical eyes. Now when you're ready, begin to broaden the arms, Peeling the hands apart from each other, separating the hands. Sending the shoulders back and down, making sure to pull in the pelvis so you aren't overarched in the low spine. We want good support all through the body. Now maybe flipping the palms upwards and feeling the lightness of the arms. Looking off those left fingertips, off into the distance. Maybe closing the eyes if you can stay balanced. And now connecting to the strength of the physical body. Connecting to the strength of the heart. You can say the physical heart and the emotional heart. Connecting to the strength of the mind. And connecting to the strength of the soul. Connecting to the strength, you can be here and maintain this position. Without any doubts or any fear.
Two more deep breaths. And now we'll windmill the hands down around that left foot. Lift the left leg up and behind. And lower the left foot. Come all the way down to the belly. Now, if you'd like, you can add a couple push-ups before you get there and maybe a whole vinyasa. So you might find your back bend. A couple push-ups there. But then we'll all be resting right on the belly with the forehead down, the arms down alongside the body. You can let the shoulders droop down. You can let the heels peel apart from each other. And here you might feel that the heartbeat is more pronounced. You can sense it along the mat. Take a clearing breath. We're going to find locust posture. And then we might take that into an upward bow. So first, let's begin to activate the legs. You can let the heels face upwards. And then begin to take the shoulders back and begin to lift the arms upwards. So the palms are trying to find the ceiling. And then lift the head, lift the chest. You can keep the feet down for now. Take another deep breath. And exhale, lower down. This time we'll incorporate the feet. So when you're ready, inhale, lift the arms, the head, and maybe also the feet. Spread the toes, trying to lift the thighs off the mat as best as you can. And then exhale, lower down. So let's do this again. Inhaling, activating. And then exhale, lowering. One more time. And exhale, lower. Now we'll bring the right side of the face to the mat and let it rest there. Let the shoulders round. And now bend the left leg and hold the top of the foot with the left hand and pull that foot in as close to the bottom as you can get it. And then we'll pull the pelvis in. Feel a stretch in the thigh. Relax the pelvis, pull it in again. Relaxing the pelvis, pull in again. And we'll exhale, release the left foot. Turn the face to the right, left side of the face on the mat. And then here we'll bend that right leg and hold the top of the right foot with the right hand, drawing the foot in as close to the bottom as you can. <clears throat> Pull the pelvis in to increase the stretch and then relax the pelvis. Pull the pelvis in. <clears throat> Relax. Once again. And relaxing the pelvis, just taking a couple deep breaths. And then release the right foot. <clears throat> So now we're going to do this again. Turn to face the left, the right side of the face on the mat. Hold this left foot, pull it in. But now let's focus on the shoulder. So letting the shoulder droop down first. 
Now letting the shoulder pick up. So you have to activate now, pick the left shoulder up. And now see if you can take the hand and travel to the inside of the foot and then just release. So it's like the hand is swiveling so that the fingers face down and then they face out to the left or they might eventually face over to the right. So it's just a motion of the shoulder and we can see that being expressed through the position of the hand. Moving at the top of the foot. You might get some clicking in the shoulder. And that's it. We'll release the side and go to the other. So now hand on that right foot and we're going to again pick up the right shoulder, move the hand around that foot, drop the shoulder. So there's inner and outward rotation occurring with this shoulder. You'll notice one side will feel different than the other. Maybe even makes different sounds. Simply because we don't use our arms in the same way. Okay, another breath. <clears throat> And then we'll release this. And now we're going to come into an upward bow <clears throat> or a bow pose. Actually, this is not upward. This is actually bow. So from here, go ahead and hold both of the feet. <clears throat> and start with the forehead down. And then pick up the head, pick up the thighs, and kick the feet into the hands. Spread the toes, draw the knees towards each other. If you find this unreasonable for your body at this time, you can come back into a locust posture, which we started with. Now, if you're here, start to breathe more deeply so that the body is rocking with the breath. One more breath. And releasing. Lower all the way down, then press your way up and settle your hips down into a child's posture, releasing and stretching the back, which just went through a series of contractions. Find a clearing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's stretch the arms forward, the palms down, the forearms lifted. Look forward. Picking up the head, arching the neck. Walk over to the right side of the mat. <clears throat> Stretching the left side body. Walk over to the left side of the mat. Stretching right side body. Come back to center. Let's rise up to table. <clears throat> and from here, let's cross the feet and come to seated.
Once you're in seated, roll the shoulders around. We still have more to go in order to open up the body. And it's, um, it's going to be related to what is the next step as we welcome the new year. So let's roll the shoulders a few times. Maybe move the head a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, then let's take those shoulders and keep them back, lower them down, draw the chin down towards the chest, but keep the head somewhat lifted here, right? So chin towards neck more like. And then inhale, pick up the chin towards the sky. Bring the head towards center. And now we'll look to the left and look to the right. And so we're turning the head left again, turning the head right again bringing the head back to center. Lift one ear up towards the sky. Take three full breaths. And bring the head to center, tilt the or lift the other ear up towards the sky. <clears throat> and then we'll bring the head to center. Okay, so at this time, bring the palms together, thumbs in towards the heart center. Lower the head for a moment. Soften the eyes, soften the jaw. Feel the softness of the whole body. In the softness, feel the openness of the whole body. And that softness, that openness, feel the, the mind and the heart in the same way. Soft and open and ready to accept what it is that you want for your life in this year. So now we resolve, not wish, but we resolve to focus on something very specific for this year that will be better for us, that will be helpful, that will benefit from most likely because it helps us, it will benefit others as well. So now allowing yourself to identify what it is you would like to accept and be open to for this year. It might be something specific. It might be more general. It might be something concrete. It might be something more abstract. Feeling as you identify that, a welcoming, an embracing of everything that is going to be required for you to allow and stay open to what you're identifying. And now I'm going to read to you again the same verse, applying it to what you're bringing into your life this year. There is no dream that is too great for any human being, no aspiration too high, no ideal too wonderful. What we are capable of conceiving in our souls is also capable of being manifested in the outward world. More than that, what we truly conceive within our souls and work for cannot help appearing in our lives. Resolving and conceiving within your soul 
And what you work for cannot help but appear in your life. Let's remember that as we move in this final segment by sitting up tall and taking the legs out. We can release prayer position with our hands. Taking the legs out to a V formation. Sitting on a blanket if you need a little bit of uh, height so that you can get some pressure off of the back of the legs if you feel tightness there. Sensing the openness of this posture will take the arms out and really accept what it is that we're going to work for this year. What we're going to allow the soul to conceive of so that it may appear in this world. Okay, in this openness, there is a, require, a, require, a requirement to have a perfect balance between effort and effortlessness. This is in this posture and this is in what you are recognizing that you'll bring in for this year. So in that, we're going to be inhaling and finding this openness, finding this length, finding this effort and energy required to hold the body up. And on the exhale, we'll be sinking in towards the leg, bringing both hands down to it or around it and releasing the trunk and the head into that leg. On the inhalation, we'll find that effort again. On the exhalation, we'll let go into the other leg. Inhaling, rising. Exhaling, releasing. Inhaling, rising. Exhaling, releasing, and you can go at this pace a little bit more slowly here, or you can move back into that forceful breath, dropping ujjayi breath, and then exhaling, folding, inhale, rising. Exhaling, inhaling. Go at the pace that feels right for you. Opening wide arms and then falling in effortlessly. About 15 more seconds. Now you're going to find a position where you're going to fold in effortlessly. So it might be towards the leg, it might be towards the center. I'm going to take a couple deep breaths there. This means the softness, even as we're resolving, means we can't be too rigid. We still have to be flexible and open because sometimes we're short-sighted and we don't actually see beyond some of our limitations. So we still want to be open to that possibility that they may present themselves and we can go beyond them. Now let's go ahead and find another position so that we're going to balance these three sections forward and the sides. Softening into that new space. And now come into the other section, maybe the leg or your back in the middle, and soften into this new space.
Now find your way to the middle if you aren't already there. Take a nice breath or so here, feeling the balance between effort and effortlessness, between resolve and openness to other possibilities. between the legs and the sides of the back. And between the body, mind, and the heart. Now take a deep breath in and out and start to rise up. Come to seated with the ankles crossed again. Let's find a twist here. So now everything we're doing is preparing us to rest. So we want to make sure that we have gone into the body fully. So let's just twist to one side, hand to opposite knee, turning in that direction. And we'll come to center, hand to other knee, turning in that direction. Come to center, go ahead and tilt or send one ear skyward again, roll that opposite sh or the same shoulder and then settle it down and take a nice clearing breath. And then we'll bring the head to center, send the other ear skyward, move that shoulder around, settle it down. Again, a nice clearing breath. And bringing the head back to center. Now you can lower the chin and just sway the head a little bit from side to side. Shaking the head out and then bringing the head to center. Let's come down to the back. Once you're on the back, so we did some things with our legs. I want to make sure that they're not imbalanced here. We're going to bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh, pick up the left leg, and we're in a reclining pigeon posture, holding the left leg, making sure that the right foot is flexed, and really pulling this leg in. <sighs> Putting some more energy in the arms to draw the left leg in, closer and closer towards the trunk. And in bringing the left leg in, we bring the right leg in closer. Now just to facilitate this, push that right leg into the left leg and then relax that. So on in the inhalation, do it again. Push leg into leg and then relax as you draw the legs in closer. Push leg into leg and then relax them as you draw them in closer. And that little bit of resistance helps the openness. So we'll go ahead and now release that and do this on the other side. So we'll take left ankle on top of right thigh, draw the right leg in, make sure this left foot is flexed. First we're here stretching and just drawing this leg in closer and closer. And then, once you feel like you've gotten close enough here, we'll start to add resistance, pushing the legs into each other, and then relaxing on that exhalation. <sighs> Inhaling, pushing in. <sighs> Exhaling, relaxing. Once or twice more.
and then relaxing and taking a couple deep breaths. And we'll release. Now you're going to find the posture that's going to help you finish this practice today before you find Shavasana. So maybe you're going to find spinal twists or maybe you'll be elongating the legs and finding some straightening of the legs after your pigeon. Maybe a combination of a few things. Once you've found that you have completed the physical part of this practice, you'll start to let the limbs go, taking feet towards corners of mat, taking arms alongside body, but not too close. Keep them away from the body. Keeping the palms flipped up towards the sky, the toes turned away from each other. Letting the body sink down. Letting everything in this body relax completely. The toes, the soles of the feet, the heels, the ankles, relaxing. The legs, lower legs, knees, upper legs, relaxing. The fingers, the knuckles, the palms, the wrists, lower arms, elbows, upper arms, shoulders relaxing. The hips, the pelvis, the abdomen, relaxing, softening up into the solar plexus, into the chest, relaxing, the low back, the mid back, the upper back, relaxing, the neck releasing, the head softening, the jaw soft, the cheeks, the eyes, the forehead, temples, nose, soft, the scalp soft, the brain soft, malleable, the ears soft, open, the inner channels of the ears open, the inner eyes open, soft, The throat open, soft. The lungs open, soft. The heart open and soft. All the organs in the abdomen open and soft. Everything flowing, open, Letting life move through in completeness, resting.
gently just bring your attention towards the deepest place within your being that you possibly can. So maybe you can call it the soul. Maybe you can go further and imagine that which connects all of us. And now just feeling the strength of this source. Strengthening your entire being, drawing on the spiritual strength. To carry you into this next year. As you feel that strength, begin to deepen the breath. And feel with the breath that you can feel even more that strength throughout your entire being. And with that strength, you start to power the body again. You start to power the hands and the feet, bringing movement to them. You might now find a larger motion. You might take the arms behind. Might bring the knees into the chest. You might roll to the side to rise. You might rise right up by rocking up. And once you found your way up to seated, we'll seal the practice, remembering that everything that we do is not for ourselves in the end. It has to start with us because we're the closest to ourselves. <laughs> but then it needs to trickle out and we have to recognize that everything that we're going to bring into our hearts and minds and souls is going to trickle out whether we like it or not. So we need to choose properly so that we're helpful and positive forces in the world. So because we have cultivated this beautiful energy, we're going to send it outwardly with the mantra, Mangala Mantra, wishing for auspiciousness for the entire world. And at the end we chant Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu, wishing that all beings are happy, healthy, and free from suffering, that they may know truth. Svasti Prajabya Paripalayantam Nyaye Namargerna Mahi Mahisha Go Brahma Nebya Shubhamastunityam Loka Samasta Sukhi no Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhi no bhavantu Loka samasta Sukhi no bhavantu 
Loka samasta sukhi no bhavantu Om shanti 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 Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I honor the light in you that is the same light in me. Namaste and Happy New Year.